This video to our presentation at HDS International Corp. Brought to you by All Penny Stocks. This is a pink sheet company trading our ticker HDSI. I had to scale this into a five-month chart. You can see us really just start trading back in August. Rough day to kick off the week, but it recovered some yesterday. You can see it moved up 15%. Keeping this chart on watch, it looks like it's trying to find a bottom here at 048, making some higher lows right now. And you can see from the indicators, starting to see an uptrend in the MACD, trending back towards zero. Developing a bit of an upward channel, you can see it's making higher highs. Similarly with the PPO, ADX, we often reference when it gets down near 10, start to look for a reversal. MFI is all up pretty high, showing there is some money coming into this play. That's of course reinforced by the accumulation distribution, which is kind of making a higher high, but you can see for about a month now, it's just kind of running sideways. Really going to look for that to push through this area, try and make some new higher highs as well. You've seen the shake in money flow. Buying pressure is overcoming selling pressure. CCI holding right around that middle of the road, but also making slightly higher highs, developing an upward channel. Full snow shows pretty neutral momentum, holding right there around 50. Be looking for that to push, make a stronger break through 50, try and get up here and get near 80. To show some real strength in the play. And the tricks also early on, but not making a new lower low, trending upward. Lower volume play. Allows for a little bit of whipsaw action to happen with the RSIs. Much like everything else, slightly making an uptrend. Right around neutral right now, but in a position to really try and kick it into bull mode. So what we'll be watching for is just to continue to try and make these higher lows. Some pretty good support right there around 6 cents. 0.62 to be more precise. That's a spot I'll be looking forward to hold, even if it does do something like this where it drops a wick and pulls right back up. I want to see that area hold. We will define a very bottom support there just below 5 cents at this old 048. But for the near term, 6 cents marks where we're going to have our focus. See the 250 day moving averages are right there around 10. A little bit of resistance is going to come into play right there around 9. But look for it to pick up right in the area of those two key moving averages. That will be a pretty critical point for this chart because you want to see it break through that resistance point and start trading over top of those moving averages. Try to be taking on a much more bullish look at that point. Key indicators such as the MACD. If that happens, it'll be pushing more towards zero and trying to break through that money line. So as a technical stock to watch this week, it started out a little bit rough. We captured back part of those losses on Tuesday. So now we'll keep it on watch to see if it can break through that resistance point. Beyond that, a little bit more is going to come in. You're going to need to see it break through this old high at 10.8. But resistance really doesn't get real strong until it's trying to challenge these older highs around 17 cents. Obviously a very significant move from where it is at this point, and that's more down the road to show an overall reversal in this chart. But large moves like that can happen if you see a volume spike start to come into this. As you can see back in through here where volume started picking up, gaining some speed, some very volatile swings here when it first started trading. And that's what we'll be looking for now. Increase in volume bars, take out resistance, any pullback, hold a new support level, continue the upward trend. Pretty nice looking chart at this point. One to keep an eye on and we'll see where it goes from here. As always, really my interpretation of the HDSI stock chart. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. And consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.